This is Echo 3, and let's discuss the importance of transfer windows. Let's conduct a little experiment. Similar to my early experiment, where I compared two methods for getting to and landing on the Mun, we can compare two methods for getting into Duna's sphere of influence. We shall start with a craft in low Kerbin orbit with 3,904 meters per second of vacuum delta V. We will eject Kerbin's sphere of influence. Then we will create a maneuver node around the sun and set up a Duna encounter. What is nice about this particular method is the convenience it offers. I will not need to use any mods or online calculators or even any rocket science orbital mechanic math. But how much efficiency does this sacrifice, if any? We can burn prograde using, and it's going to take me 931 meters per second of delta V to get out of Kerbin's sphere of influence. Once we get out, we can easily set up a maneuver to get a Duna encounter. Actually, it'll be very similar to setting up uh, a rendezvous. Um, if you are familiar with how to do rendezvous and docking, if you're not, you can check out my tutorial on that. But uh, we'll just eject here and make a maneuver node and we'll draw it out prograde so it gets out to the same range as Duna. And move it around, get a closest approach, and I can right click on my closest approach marker and fine tune that. Um, you know, we'll try to get this as exact as possible. And it looks like we are about got our encounter. Um, and for you who can follow my life at all, it's still harvest time and I have been busy. And matter of fact, recording this video was all the game time I had this entire week. And that's the joys of being a farmer in Harvest. It's just kind of busy, but it, it's a good busy. All right, we are getting close. See how close we're going to get here with this burn. Um, looks like we're going to get a pretty nice encounter with Duna. We'll just warp over to the maneuver and make this burn and see what our official totals are once the burn is complete. And we can compare that with our second attempt numbers. Uh, I'm using the Cheetah engine. It is, uh, it's an efficient vacuum engine. It, that's why my burns take longer though. A lot of your more efficient engines just don't have the same thrust to weight ratio. But uh, I like I like to use it here. So here we go, burning now out to Duna's orbit. And we've got our encounter. We'll close in and see what we got. Looks like we're gonna get a closest approach of 17,500 kilometers. And we're left with 2,116 meters per second of delta V. That means it took us 1,788 meters per second of delta V from our initial orbit around Kerbin to get this periapsis. And with the power of science, we can revert our flight back to the beginning. Then we can use the cheat menu to put our same craft back into the exact same orbit around Kerbin. Um, we're going to use Kerbal Alarm Clock here and set up an exact transfer window to Duna. And I'll just time warp till we get to that time window. You can eyeball it, but for this experiment, I'm going to use an exact time. I'm going to use an exact uh, launch window, and I'm going to draw a prograde maneuver out so that my orbit ejects prograde to Kerbin's orbit and we should actually just get a Duna encounter right off the bat if I do this right. And there we go. Um, we are going to make this burn and see exactly what our totals are when this is done. Um, compare the two methods here. I, I think this is a fair comparison. It's the same craft um, starting from the exact same orbit. So our numbers uh, are um, you know, this is good science method here. And we'll just warp to our maneuver and burn again. And I, I can already tell you, looking at this maneuver node of 1,045 meters per second, uh, comparing that to the um, 1,788 meters per second that it was going to take with the other method, that this is already going to be more efficient. Although, uh, you'll see, I mess up just slightly, and I end up spending... Uh, 1,059 meters per second to correct <laughs> I burned a little too much so what this ends up meaning in conclusion is that while the two attempts um, both get me to Duna and the second attempt is going to get me as close as 19,500 kilometers so almost the exact same periapsis our encounters are very similar but this second method results 
uh, and me using 729 meters per second uh, delta V less than the first attempt. So there are calculators players can use. Um, so you can check out my ELU mission for that. But hey, thanks for joining me to compare these two methods to get to Duna. See you next time.